2021 was an amazing year for wildlife sightings. If you're into your marine wildlife, then last year we had basking sharks, humpback whales, Wally the walrus, and even a puffer fish washed ashore off of Cornwall. So it was an amazing year for marine wildlife, and we live in a really special place. It may not look like it today, but Tor Bay is home to some amazing underwater wildlife. We've got beds of seagrass that support seahorses. We've got huge cliffs just down the coast that are home to big colonies of seabirds. And it's also a place where animals like cuttlefish and spider crabs will come into the shallower water to breed. Now, if we think that Torbay is a special place to live, then maybe we should show it some love. This is the time of year when a lot of us are looking to change our behavior for the better. Maybe you've made a New Year's resolution, or maybe you're just looking for something you can change this year that will make you live a little bit better. So I wanted to bend your ear about wet wipes. Now, a lot of us are trying to cut down on the amount of single-use plastic that we're using in our lives. So whether that's uh, coffee stirrers, or cotton buds and things like that that we're changing, but that's gonna to have to include wet wipes. And I wanna tell you a little bit about them. Now I've got a wet wipe here. Ollie, this is a clean one, isn't it? Yes. It is. Okay, that's good. So we got a clean wet wipe to talk about. And the big problem with wet wipes really is uh, that a lot of them are made using plastic. Even some of the ones that are marketed as being flushable are actually made using plastic. And the way that they're woven, which helps them to stay together when they're in the packet soaking in liquid for months, uh, also means that when they are flushed down the loo, they don't fall apart. And that is causing big problems for our sewer systems, but also for our wildlife, especially the wildlife that's in the sea. So we wanted to come up with a fun demonstration to show you what happens to wet wipes when they go down the loo. For a lot of us, when we put something down the toilet, it goes out of our lives, out of sight, and we never want to think about it again. But what actually happens to wet wipes when they go down the toilet? Let's find out. So we're going to take a wet wipe. Okay, we're going to put it in just a jar of water. Okay, and then we're going to give it a flush, just as if it's been flushed down the loo, and then we're going to see what happens. So we're going to pop, the, pop this down, and we're going to do the same with a flushable wipe and with some toilet paper as well. So I'll pop this down here. Right, so here I've got a wet wipe that's marketed as being flushable and biodegradable. We're going to pop that in the water as well, okay, in a different jar, and we're going to give it a little shake as well. So there it is, it's been flushed down the loo, and let's find out what happens to that in just a moment. Okay, and for our final subject, we've got some good old toilet paper, just two sheets here. We're gonna pop that inside as well. Okay, and pop it in, into the water. We'll give it a shake. Okay, and then we'll see what happens in just a minute or two. Okay, now we've waited a minute. We're gonna give our wet wipes and toilet paper another little shake and let's see what's happened to them. You might be wondering what the problem is once wet wipes get into the ocean. We've talked about the problems for us where they block up our sewers and cause uh, blockages in our houses, but they can actually cause problems once they get into the ocean as well. Now, you can see from our demonstration that they don't suddenly break apart into tiny pieces as you might expect. And for an animal that eats a whole wet wipe, then it could block their digestive system or it could suffocate them. Over time, the plastics will start to break down and the wet wipes will start to come into smaller and smaller pieces, but then they can actually be ingested, taken in, eaten by smaller animals. Now, you wouldn't eat a wet wipe and it's not healthy for an animal to do so either. So when those plastics are taken in and digested by the smaller animals, they can actually affect their well-being, they can affect their health and they can cause problems further up the food chain as well. So, if you enjoy swimming in the sea, if you're like me and you enjoy paddleboarding or kayaking or surfing or just messing around on the water, then you'll want to think of the water as being clean and unpolluted. And one of the strange things is that when we block our sewers with things like wet wipes, that can result in raw sewage being discharged into our rivers and our seas through the stormwater overflows. So blocked sewers can actually result in raw sewage being discharged. So if you want to do something for wildlife in 2022, if you want to live in harmony with nature, then we've got a suggestion for you. And that is that we think you should buy a bin for your bathroom. We hear it's the fashion must have accessory for 2022. Buy a bin for your bathroom and anything that shouldn't be flushed down the loo goes in the bin. Okay, that way, then you'll be making a small change in your life that can actually make things better for wildlife.